to show the distinction between the Father and the Son, sometimes Christians will quote John 16:28. I came forth from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I leave the world and go to the Father. So a Christian will say, well, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is not the Father. Jesus Christ is di distinct from the Father because the Father sends the Son into the world and the Son is sent by the Father into the world. So Jesus Christ is not the Father. And one of the ways in which one as Pentecostals will counter that verse is to ask a very clever question. And it's this, is the Son omnipresent? And the Christian says, yes, the Son is omnipresent. So the oneness of Pentecostal understanding omnipresence to be everywhere at the same time will say, well, look, if the Son is omnipresent, he's everywhere, all over this entire universe, all at the same time, how can you send the Son into this world when being omnipresent, he's here already? It's a very good question, but it misdefines the term omnipresence. So let's define omnipresence and then let's define pantheism and panentheism. Omnipresence simply means that God is both knowledgeable and he can exercise power and authority and he can also choose to be present in any part of that creation if he so wishes. Let me recap. God is knowledgeable, he can exercise power in the whole of the creation and he can choose to be present in any part of that creation, all of it, if he so chooses. Pantheism says that God is in all of the creation. So I think the oneness question misdefines pantheism and omnipresence. Omnipresence is not pantheism. Uh, a pantheist would say, well, you know, look at that insect, God is in that insect. Look at that dog feces over there, God is in that dog feces. What about Satan? Satan was created. Well, if Satan's created and God is present in all of his creation, then God is present in Satan. God is present in all of the demons. Okay? A crazy belief. Panentheism goes far further than that. It doesn't just say that God is in the creation. It says God is the creation. So when you look at the dog feces, a panentheist would say God is that dog feces. And when you look at the devil, because um, God is in all of his creation, the devil is God. Uh, when you look at Adolf Hitler or Stalin or other e evil people, uh, God is not just in these people as a, as a pantheist believes, but um, God is actually Stalin, God is actually Hitler. So we are confusing terms which mustn't be confused. Omnipresence is not pantheism or panentheism. So therefore, when we read in John 4.24 that God is spirit, it simply implies that God is outside of our three-dimensional world. He's beyond our three-dimensional world. God would be, I guess, scientifically described as being multi-dimensions, having many dimensions or maybe infinite dimensions. So the sending, although I would agree that um, the Son came into this world, the chief meaning of this passage is regard to authority rather than to a spatial movement. We read of John the Baptist also being sent into the world from God in John chapter 1 verse 6. So the primary meaning in John 1 6 and John 16 28 is authority. So the oneness question that um, Jesus is here in the world all the time according to Trinitarians. He's every everywhere in the world all at the same time. I don't wish to be blasphemous but even in the devil, even in the demons even in disgusting things like feces. Um, that is often how oneness Pentecostals are misdefining the Trinitarian position. They're misdefining our position usually as pantheism, that God is in everything. Remember, God is in the devil, God is in Satan, God is in Hitler and Stalin, God is in dog feces. That's a pantheist view. Uh, if you go a stage further than that and say, well, you know, feces is God, the devil is God, then you're a panentheist. That's not the standard Trinitarian definition of omnipresence, which simply says, yes, um, God can choose to be literally in any part of that creation if he so chooses. But omnipresence simply is talking about God having authority and power and the ability to influence any part of that creation. It's not saying that God 
is that creation, all that God is in every single square millimetre of that creation.